Hey everyone, so back here. Um, so I'm making lasagna today. Um, so first start off cooking your meat. Um, you just use whatever you like, you know. Um, ground beef is pretty much what you should use. Um, you could use ground turkey, which is what I'm gonna use, but it doesn't. It's whatever. So um. Start that off. I mean, uh, you can make lasagna however you want to, you know. Um, you could add some sausage to it and all that while you're cooking it. Um, but just start off cooking your meat and grind it up good. So, um, and I just want to mention before I cut this part and I finish cooking this, um, that I have never made lasagna before, so, um, So this is bits and pieces of what I know and what I've picked up off of some recipes on the internet, so don't judge. But I'm not going blind here either, so don't be like, I shouldn't watch this video because I do know what I'm doing. I just may not know the best recipes ever. So um, stay tuned and I'll be back once I finish cooking the meat. Okay, so now... Boil your, boil your water, um, and I just want to mention, uh, for the meat, I didn't mention it before, but I will put a little piece of text up there just reminding you, um, you can season your meat how, however you want, but, um, you can add onions, I guess, peppers, whatever you want, I mean, it's yours, um, but, uh, my family or, uh, people in my family usually don't like chunky stuff in the meat or, um, so that's why I'm going to leave it out, but you can do whatever you want. So now just boil your water, put the pasta in, so, um, so I think a whole box of the lasagna noodle pasta things work fine for a lasagna. Um, so just put those in, um, I'll put the rest in and boil them. Um, and I'll get back to you when we're ready to start some of the process, um, like, uh, mixing up the sauce and preparing the lasagna, and I just want to mention, um, I'll give more exact, uh, amounts of the cheese and, and meats, it's just a pack of regular ground beef or ground turkey or whatever you use, um, but other than that, for the cheese and sauce and other stuff, I'll give more exact amounts once I, in the description, once I really know what I've used. So, I just want to mention that, and I'll see you in a sec. Hey everyone, so I'm back. Um, so what we're going to do next now, let me just take my spoon. So, um, you're going to want to take some tomato paste. Okay. So, get that out. Um, and then some tomato sauce. Now, you can use whatever kind you like. You can Then you can season it up, whatever you feel. Um, so, I, again, I want to mention, I'll leave more exact estimate, um, exact, uh, measurements. That's what I mean, in the description. But right now, I mean, you don't know how much for sure you're going to do so it's better to have more than to have less so mix your tomato sauce and your tomato paste so this the reason you want to do this is it then you don't have such a runny runny sauce I guess and I don't I it all depends too I guess how much sauce you like in your lasagna so I think this may be enough for me. Um, it all just depends. So mix it up real good. Season it however you like. And down below, I'll just say like seasonings or something because it's really just up to you. Grab whatever you got in your cupboard or pantry, whatever you want to call it, and just add it in. So I'm just adding some garlic salt. I'm uh, not garlic. Uh, garlic powder. Uh, onion powder. Um, some Italian seasoning and some thyme. So, it's 
themselves up to you. Um, and so my my uh, lasagna noodles just finished cooking. So um, I will mixing this up. So um, put that out of the way. And then what I got for cheese is ricotta cheese and uh, a five cheese blend, which was of um, Parmesan, uh, mozzarella, uh, Romano, Asiago, and provolone. So that's what my uh, shred and shredded is what I did. Um, so that's what I got. And then the ricotta. Um, so I will be back in a minute once I'm done um, and my noodles have cooled and stuff. So see you then. Okay, so now I'm back. Uh, I think I've got everything set up. So first, you're gonna want to spray your nonstick, not nonstick, but your glass pan or whatever you pan you're using. Um, with some nonstick baking spray, so try not to make a mess of it here. Okay, I think that's good. So now uh, let's start off with a layer of sauce on the bottom. Bear with me while I show you how to do this. So, just a thin layer. No, not too much. Not for me, anyways. I mean, not the sauciest person. So, don't like a lot of sauce. But again, you guys, you do whatever you guys want to do. Just spread it out a thin layer, or thick layer, whichever. Um, so then we're going to do the noodles on top of that after. Uh, the, yeah, the lasagna noodles. Um, at least I guess that's what they're called. It just says lasagna on the box. So I don't know. So. Oops hit the camera, but, um, anyways, so, um, you can season anything that you like, do whatever cheeses you want, this is just a guide to go by, um, if you don't know how to make lasagna, um, so, just, you know, education, so, a little more sauce in the corner, and I think we'll be good. Hopefully it evens itself out, but anyways, there we go. Now let's do a layer of the noodles. So previously I was measuring it out, I was like, mm, I don't know if that's going to be enough to fit the pan, um, but it did lengthen, fit the length of the pan. Pasta expands, you know, um, when you do the cooking of it. So, yeah, I think this piece didn't get got a little less cooked than others, but it's okay. Um, so, yeah, just make sure your pasta is really done. Especially if you're adding it in slowly, then it's not gonna. Some are not going to be cooked as long as others, so you got to be careful with that. So let's just fit them together here. There we go. So one layer completed. Now the next layer, I think we shall do meat. So again, this is just my own 
the way I'm doing this, so again, you don't have to do it that way. It's your own opinion. So I think this layer is going to use up all the meat, pretty much. So again, break up the larger chunks of meat here. Um, and there you go. There we go. And if you want, um, I guess, more layers of meat or you have a thicker dish or whatever, then again, you'll double. You'll get two packages of meat, I guess. So, that. There we go. It's all thinned out. And then, let's see. Let's do a little, little sauce. See, in some cases for the lower, it's better to do the thick, but in other cases, it's better to do the uh, just regular sauce. So, um, again, however you like it, but let me crack out the other sauce here. And um, so, some people uh, just do it in, like an all separate layer sauce and all that. And then some just do everything in one layer, so again, each to your own, do whatever you like, just a guide. Okay. So let's pour this sauce over here. I don't want to make this too saucy. Okay, that's good enough. Um, so let's make sure this is all cleaned out here. So, bear, bear, bear with me. Okay, so this is, and again, all based on preference and how you like your meat and stuff. Okay, so, um, now let's get some cheese on here. So. So, put your cheese down. Just a little. Um, so, not too much. Now, again, you can just take this and then layer it many times over as what I'm doing, however you preference it. Just a very thin layer here, and then we'll do um, more with regular on top. So, that's done. Now, do another layer of noodles. And that's pretty much all we'll have room for, in my opinion at least. So, get this mess of noodles I'm done with here. And especially, like, it depends how you like it, too. If you don't like a lot of noodles, then, you know. Again, preference. Sonia is pretty much based on preference, I'm finding out. Um, okay, or crates. Silly thing. Okay, so, last row. So this part is really long, so, um, I mean, just thanks for watching this part, because I did make it longer, but I just want to go through the whole process with you guys. So there, and then we'll get some more of the cheese, and we'll do the ricotta. Here we go. Shoot it out. So 
So again, uh, I'm open to suggestions in the comments, whatever you think. Um, because I'm not, I will totally admit I'm not perfect lasagna maker, because this is pretty much my first time doing it. So, if you think I did good, tell me. If you think I need improvement, tell me that too. So, let me get out a spoon and I'll get this ricotta cheese going. Some little dollops of ricotta cheese here. Just just, you know, just throw them down there, wherever I guess. And that should it be be good. Just do as much ricotta cheese as you want. But, um, all preference, so just smooth it out, I guess. If you want to do it up for the whole thing, you can do that too. So I'll put some more cheese over it, and then... And then um, that should be good. So there's our lasagna, we'll bake it for 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and on, and we could even use some more cheese on top here. So I'll put that there, um, and do it for about 30 to 40 minutes on 375, and hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little long, but, um, I hope you guys ended up liking it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll show you a picture at the end of what it looks like. Check the description below for the exact measurements that I figured out and see you next time.